how going everybody welcome back you don't know is your boy kamani brown back with another video and today we're speaking about macbooks more specifically the macbook air with the m2 chipset fresh off the boat people right awesome laptop for all this power in such a thin and stylistic form factor guys like this is the best laptop i've ever owned it handles everything i throw at it 4k 60 video editing like without breaking a sweat however what i have here is the base model i refuse to pay those ludicrous prices for extra storage straight from apple so the purpose of this video is to show really and truly do you need it the short answer is no why pay so much when you can make your own and that's where this comes in that's right people now what we have here is the OWC Envoy Express Thunderbolt Certified Bus Power DIY Enclosure for NVMe SSDs. Now let's get straight into the box. Now thanks to flipping customs yet again people, they thought it prudent to open the box without my permission so there is no seal. So that means no unboxing knife necessary here folks. So now we're greeted with a, you know, recyclable um, cardboard box thing, coffin, it looks like a coffin, whatever. And of course you have your manual which is really and truly just a slim piece of paper giving you know the product support options and telling you the system requirements which is of course mac or pc with thunderbolt or later support with operating system spanning mac os 10.13 or later or windows 10 or later of course you don't know is m.2 ssd form factor right so no need for this anymore now going back into the belly of the beast what do we have here yes sir freebie quality quality freebie actually this is a nice pretty nice phillips head screwdriver with that free spinning head thing that you could use to screw in a screw without really and truly turning your hand i don't know what you call it pete you can let me know in the comments below but loving it i'm excited about that one all right so that's it a no frills unboxing people because all we have left is just the device itself or the enclosure itself right so here we go there's something on the back of it though but first impression peeps it is pretty well built solid aluminum there of course there's a thunderbolt 3 connection and it's a thick cable not too long but thick and there you see it's USB type C Thunderbolt 3 by OWC that rhymes but anyway let's see what's on the back of this thing it's a mounting bracket of some sorts I don't know it's made out of plastic I don't think I'll ever use this but let's try and get this off once I figure it out here we go hmm, not too hard to come off but let's have a look at this for a second and yeah it's made out of plastic more like the plexiglass i think it has has some form of adhesive at the back i think it's gel actually so you can actually reuse it but that's enough of that for now let's get back to the device itself and yeah i love this once it's matte black you know i'll be loving it now how do we get in this thing i don't know looks like there's just two screws course you test out that freebie screwdriver see how well it works now this is a full unboxing peeps full on setup you don't like to do my things details so you know exactly what you're getting but yeah let's take this off and see how it looks now looking at this thing here seeing a lot of notable things but let's see the cover itself here for a moment what we have here is actually a interface to put the heat onto the casing itself so the heat the casing is actually the heat sink this thick ass piece of aluminum that's very nice now getting back to the rest of the device so there's actual slot for the ssd of course the m.2 ssd and there's the cable which wait a minute <laughs> is it what i think it is people this thing is removable so you can actually add an extra long cable this is awesome guys so if anything goes wrong the cable i need a longer one you could simply remove it or change it now there's a few screws there you'd have to remove i'd imagine but this is awesome peeps all right so now time to put this thing in that's right 
old trusty western digital wd blue sn550 now here's the specs don't know it go already and let's get her right up in them goods let's do this people so far pretty easy installation just pull a couple of screws so far of course this is the m.2 ssd and let's just stick it right in pull a mounting screw of course get her in there and we're pretty much done all that's left is just to get that thick ass cover which doubles as a heat sink on there now it's pretty easy people all you do is just match up the heat pad right on the ssd that's about it solid 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 connection and that's it people now i'll imagine this case might actually get pretty warm once this thing kicks up especially at the speeds that it is specced at but i mean we'll see this when we run our test there we go nice tight fit and let's go all right here we go now right back at the laptop it's a beautiful machine all right and let's begin the testing and here we go guys speed test time so let's see how the internal ssd does we will of course be using this as a benchmark and there you have it people 1581.7 megabytes write 1485 read and now we're moving on to the slow old girl the ssk usb 3. Point, well i think it's 3.1 gen 2 don't quote me on that check the product description below i'll actually link this one down there so you guys could check it out as a budget option but let's see how this does in a speed test now to see where i'm coming from guys this thing is slow in comparison at literally half the speed 685.3 megabytes per second right and this is looking more like 619.2 read right so now we're moving on to the new girl the owc envoy or envoy or whatever but let's see how well this does i have high expectations for this from what i read this thing should actually be on par with the internal ssd so let's go all right i'm really excited to see how this works people and here we go in this corner the owc thunderbolt 3 and there we go 1291.8 megabytes per second right and 1483.6 read you know a little slower than the internal but on par i mean you have to give you know tolerances for error and so forth it is external you do lose a bit running along the cable but who cares guys this thing is awesome so there you go i mean i only bought this for like you know i think it was less than 100 bucks i think it's like about 80 bucks 80 something dollars and it is every bit as good as internal ssd guys that is right the price is right get it save your damn money and that's it folks see you in the next one peace out and take care